Well, the great day has come when all the princes of the land are able to find and enjoy the opportunity to court the beautiful princesses. And today we've had such a entourage of beauties. And Cinderella has been here. We have had Rapunzel here. We've had Snow White and we've had many others. What a delight to be in the king's court with such beautiful princesses. Our objective here, as we put this together, was for our own grandchildren. We have 30 granddaughters. And uh, so this is for our 30 granddaughters, and we just expanded it to, so others can enjoy it too. What a wonderful opportunity. I've been to many uh, Renaissance fairs where it's all about boys and sword fights and jousting and armor. This is all about little girls and the chance to, for them to play out their fantasies and to have a lovely day. Oh, the magic candle bubbles are working! Let's try it, you blow. Oh, oh, you gave it to us. Everyone clap and go, yay! Family charity that we op operate in Africa called In Our Own Quiet Way. We've adopted a little village called Kakamega in Kenya. And for the last five years we've been doing things to help the village and help the people who live there improve their lives. And so the funds from this, we decided that we'd raise some funds from it. And so we just asked for a donation for those who participate. And uh, their suggested donation is $25 a girl but uh, we're willing to let them come for whatever. What brings you here today, young maidens? The supplies you see behind me here are typical of what we just recently shipped to uh, Kenya, to Kakamega. It's in route now via an ocean barge, and it'll arrive uh, about November when the rest of our team arrives. This particular shipment here is now all educational supplies. We, there's 44,000 pounds of medical and 44,000 pounds of educational material behind me. So in total, 88,000 pounds. Uh, the uh, medical supplies are part of a, an operation we're doing this particular November. We have 14 doctors and 28 nurses. These educational supplies that are going will be used in the three primary schools there. Uh, we learned uh, from our key person, Bernadine Angalusia, as uh, she's traveled there and as we have had our own staff there, in a cl typical classroom, the child of uh, children in the classroom, there'll be 36 of them, uh, they'll have one pencil that they share during the day. They get their 20 minutes with a pencil, 10 to 20 minutes, and that's all they get. That's going to change when we arrive with these materials that have been donated. Everything here has been donated. There's the approximate retail value of of all of this stuff donated is about a million dollars. Let's go see what's going on with Cinderella. Let's go. Let's go find Cinderella. Oh, the prince is gonna laugh me. You're way too short for the prince to like you. Whatever. Does he want to dance with a tree? <laughs> so the thing runs until Saturday, the 9th. And uh, there's four sessions a day starting at 9 in the mornings, the first, and so on. You can register online at princessfestival.org. Um, and it's just a hoot, a lot of fun. I've watched the little girls in here wanting to help Cinderella, shouting from the balcony, Cinderella, Cinderella, let me help. It just brings tears to my eyes. What a sweet day.